Although there is not always one right or wrong way to do things on the web, there are some generally accepted guidelines that are in use and can be recommended to save you headaches when creating your website. The web is really just a bunch of computers connected to each other, which is what allows us to browse web pages from locations all over the world. I'm going to look into the contents of the typical web server here, and when we upload files to our web server, we want to do so in an efficient manner. Files on our web server can really be named anything that you like, but they do require a file extension. Generally, this file extension is either .htm or .html. Most servers today will accept either, but for clarification, you can always contact your hosting provider to find out for sure. Now, if we were to upload either of these files to the root of our web server, and by root I mean the topmost directory or folder on the web server, a user would access that file by typing www.mydomain.com slash myfile.html. Easy enough. Now, I can also create individual directories or folders on that server that I can put files within that folder or directory. When I do this, a user would access these files by typing www.mydomain.com slash myfile.html in the address bar of your web browser to access the page. Now, just because you can do this doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best way. Let's look at a slightly different approach. Instead of naming my files anything that I desire, I can use a standard naming convention that most web servers today can recognize. I'll name my file index.htm or index.html. The web server then recognizes this file as a root file, which means that it will automatically display this file in a user's web browser without implicitly typing it into the address bar of the browser. For instance, now when I type www.mydomain.com, the web server will automatically load the index.htm or index.html file in the user's web browser. Pretty cool. I could take this one step further. If I create a folder or directory on the server, and within that folder I put an index.html file, when I type www.mydomain.com slash my folder, the web server will automatically load the index.html file located within that directory or folder. This methodology simplifies the URL that you use to promote your website. For instance, if your company or organization is having a sale and you create a directory called sale, you could direct people to go to www.mydomain.com slash sale, which is a memorable and simple URL for them to access. Finally, some recommendations on naming your files. First and foremost, avoid using spaces in web file names. I know you may have a habit of doing so, but if you want to indicate where a space would be on the web, you can use an underscore or you can simply run multiple words together to name the file. But whatever you do, don't use these spaces. It can cause problems and produce unpredictable results. Secondly, be consistent with your naming. I recommend using all lowercase characters when naming your files. Some users will camelback the names of their files, which means combining upper and lowercase characters. This is one more thing for you to remember and one more area where you could make a mistake. That's why I like to stick with all lowercase. Finally, use the same file extension for all of your files. As I said earlier, most web servers will allow you to use either .html or .htm in the file names. For simplicity and to avoid errors, pick one and stick with it. As you can see, there are various approaches you can take when naming and organizing files on your web server. If you follow these best practices, it will simplify your website and save you time in errors as your website grows and becomes more complex.